or upper X, so that should work. So I'm gonna go back on over, and then this I don't want Y, I want the actual frequency. And then I'm gonna say home tab, uh, alignment, let's center it, black, white, wrapping the text. And let's make this the same, black, white, and center it. And so now we're gonna do our frequency. So I can do this with uh, the actual data now. So we did the frequency over here, you'll recall, and it wasn't very helpful because we're, if we, when we go up calorie by calorie, then it's not gonna give us, we're gonna get sparse ones every once in a while on all of these calorie by calorie data. But now I'm gonna do a frequency with the actual data. So for the second one, we're gonna be picking up everything that is going from zero uh, up to the, the 400. So let's try that. We're gonna say this is gonna be equal the frequency tab, and we'll pick up the data array, which is our actual data way over here. And we'll pick up the whole thing and then enter. Oh, hold on a second. That's not the whole formula. And then I have to say comma, and we want our bins now. Let's pull this to the side so you can see it. Then the bins are gonna be from this zero on down, control shift down. I'm gonna scroll back up. So there it is. And then closing this up and that's not a close, close it up and enter. So there we have it. It goes a little far. So I'm going to double click this, go to that last bit and bring it back to 15. And so there we have it. So then our total count, if I sum this up, alt equals should be that 457, which matches our 457 when we just counted the data. So that's our double check that it looks like it's picking everything up. So we had 400s, anything from zero to 400. We had five of those anything from f above 400 to and including 814 and then six from 800 to 1200 and so on and so forth now we might want to do a percent of the total in our bucket so we can also do that this way percent of total and i'm going to say this is going to be font group black white let's wrap it let's center it this is gonna be equal to this number divided by the total now, which is that 457 F4 on the keyboard, making it absolute dollar sign before the N and the 17, enter. Let's percentify it. Home tab, number group percentify, adding some decimals, and then double click the fill handle to take it on down. I don't want the 100 to be just doing this divided by this, so I'm gonna say, delete that and instead sum up to get that 100 alt equals for our check number there's our 100 uh, that checks out so we can do that now i also want to group my p of x's i could do this a couple different ways uh, i i could say well look i want to get all of my p of x's that go from negative to zero that's going to be my first bucket and then all of my all of my p of x's that go from uh that, that go from uh zero to 400 and so on now this isn't the perfect way to do it because you might say well then it's you're like summing up you're summing things up but again this is where it comes into play that because these are such we're using such small units uh we're going to get pretty close to the to the actual answer even though we're kind of summing this up and then we'll show another way to do it uh as well so so if i was to so i could sum up the percentages which I can compare to these percentages, or I could sum up this count number. That's why we did the count number too. And you know we can do either, either of those methods. Let's do the percentage though. We're gonna say this is gonna be the P of X frequency. I'll just say freak when C, it's the freaky P of S, X, and then alignment, wrap, center, Okay, so to do this, we could use like a sum if uh, formula. So I could say something like this equals sum if s, because there's going to be some ifs, and then brackets. That's the one we want. The sum range, the range that we want it to be summing is going to be this one. So I'm going to put my cursor in the P of X on the percentages. Control shift down. I don't want to pick up the total, so shift up and then I'm holding down control backspace to get back up to the top. And then the criteria range 
is going to be the criteria of the criteria is going to be these X's. So I'm going to select this whole thing. I'm going to put my cursor G2, Control Shift down, and then Shift Backspace not to pick up the total. Control Backspace to get back up to the top, and then comma. And the criteria is that we want it to be, I'm going to say, we have to put brackets around our less than. We want it to be less than or equal to, I've got to put not brackets, but quotes around that and then tie it together with a not and, that's our not, and we're going to be picking it less than or equal to the zero. So this should be picking up everything that's in the negatives up to the zero. And then I'm going to close it up and enter and so we have let's make a percent home tab number group percentifying it add a couple decimals we're at the 0.36 okay so this next one's going to be a little different because i'm going to have two criterias now because i want it to be less than uh the 400 but greater than zero and then we can copy it down so we're going to do it again equals so we'll say sum if 